Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. We've got a matcha. I hope that you loved last week's video. I was so excited to create it Editing it was a heck of a process, but like the final product, I was so incredibly proud. I felt like it was such helpful information. And if you guys did not watch that video, I really recommend that you watch that first because that talks about management teams, why I have a manager, the benefits of having a manager, how payment works, like how do they get paid and then how do I get paid with sponsorships? It's just so incredibly good. It's definitely long. So if you got some patience, stick with it, but it is so, so incredibly informative. So today, let me take a sip. Today we are going to be talking about how sponsorships work in terms of the timeline, setting up a sponsorship, actually creating the content, getting it reviewed, and just like the whole entire process until we get the finished product of you guys actually seeing the video or the Instagram photo, Instagram story, whatever it is that is sponsored. Specifically in this video, I'm gonna talk about YouTube videos because that's what I have experience on and that's mainly my audience here is filled with a lot of YouTubers. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Sponsorships. I feel like they are just this giant mystery that not a lot of people talk about. And full transparency, guys, with every sponsorship that I do, I do sign a contract and within there, it does say what I can and can't talk about. And there are certain areas that I can't discuss, such as how much I get paid per sponsorship. Not going to be talking about that in this video. And if you have no idea what a sponsorship is, a company will pay you a flat rate to have an ad slot within your content. And this is totally different from affiliate marketing. So if you've ever heard me talk about that, before with affiliate marketing, you will get a custom trackable link. If someone clicks on that link and completes a successful sale, then you will get paid. It is commission based compared to with sponsorships. Yes, it can include affiliate marketing, but you get paid a flat rate to have a specific ad slot within your content. Just from an upper level, how the heck do sponsorships work? So from the very beginning, either a company is going to reach out to you or your manager, or you are going to reach out to a company about doing a possible sponsorship. Now we talked about this in the management video. So definitely watch that. But having a brand reach out to you is really preference because they already have a budget and they're already looking for influencers to sponsor. So that's a really great way to get started with sponsorships and also get good sponsorships. And from there, guys, there's a lot of negotiating. There's a lot of talking before a contract is even signed. So you're going to talk about the price, what is included in the price. So like, what are you actually going to deliver? The deliverables, YouTube video, Instagram stories, Instagram posts, TikTok, whatever it is, you need to figure out what is going to be created, how much is going to be charged for that, as well as what is then going to go in the contract. No contract is signed until all of the negotiation and that whole entire process is done. And this is one of the reasons why I love having a management team so much because they do all of the negotiating. They will come to me with what a brand is willing to pay or what they are trying to work out with a company. And I will say, yep, that sounds good. It fits into my content calendar or no, I think we should actually be charging more or maybe we could also throw in this. I am, yes, in the know of what is going on, but I am not sending all of those emails back and forth. And managers are just so incredibly great. I am so thankful for mine. I just, I appreciate them and all of the planning that they have to do to make sponsorships even happen. But once the negotiating is done, everything is decided upon, then we get a contract. Now, during the negotiation phase, you will see a contract ahead of time to know if there is anything that you want to change. So I review all of my contracts myself, and this is just personal preference for me. You guys can have your management team do it just to cover my own butt guys. Like I like to look over all of my own contracts. So I will review the contract. If my management team or I have something that we want to change, or even if the brand has something that they want to change, we will discuss it before the final contract is given out. And then it is signed by both parties. So I will sign it as well as the company that I am working with. And I feel like that beginning part is not the most fun. And if you are setting up your sponsorships and your brand deals all on your own, it is a decent amount of work that that you're probably not used to if you've never done it before. And it can take weeks, it can take months to actually agree upon the terms of a sponsorship before it actually happens. So that whole process is a lot and can't be ignored, but I feel like what you guys probably wanna know more about is actually the creating content side of things. Now you're probably so excited to start creating this content, get that sponsored post so you can get paid. In reality, the first step is you need to come up with your concept, your post idea, and get it approved by the brand. So depending on the brand, they may ask for several different concepts and then they get to choose the one that they want to move forward with. But most of the time what I do is I will come up with a general title or kind of like a 
rough draft of what I think the title is going to be and then some bullet points of what the video is going to be and how I'm going to include that sponsorship because you guys may notice with the sponsorships that I do all of them relate to the video it's not like I'm creating a video like this and then I'm talking about my skincare you know like that doesn't really flow it doesn't make sense so I try to come up with video ideas that are very specific to the sponsorships so that it flows really well together and it just makes a lot of sense for not only you guys my audience and the brand that I'm working with it's going to be most powerful for them if I do that so I will send over the concept idea rough title outline some brands ask for a couple different options so I will do that and then once it is approved or we kind of work through like the final draft of what the video is going to be then it is finally time to start creating content but if we back it up a little bit when you decide what kind of content you are creating for the sponsored post so whether it's on Instagram and Instagram story real IGTV you guys know all of the options available with YouTube typically you decide on the length of time that the ad is going to be so is it going to be a 30 second shout out or is it going to be a four minute clip within your YouTube video. And that's really important for you to know. Typically brands will give you a list of talking points or certain things that they would like you to mention during the ad, possibly things that they don't want you to mention during the ad. And that is also helpful when you're coming up with what you are going to say. I feel like you guys should have seen this coming, but it's time to create the ad. So this section of the video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. If you guys haven't heard me talk about Epidemic Sound before, I honestly don't know where you've been. I've been using this platform for well over a year to find all of my copyright free music, as well as sound effects that I include within my YouTube videos. So if you are new to Epidemic Sound, basically what it is, it's a platform where you can find royalty free music because we are not about getting copyrighted over here. And their library is so easy to use and navigate if you know a general vibe that you wanna go for for your piece of content. So let's say it's sad or happy, you can search based off of mood, you can also search based off of genre and my favorite feature that I know I've shared before if you find a song that you like there's actually an option where you can click on just one little button and it's going to populate other similar songs so if you're like oh I like this song but it's not perfect you can click on the find similar option and it's going to generate a whole list of other songs that you can check out so you can find the perfect perfect song for your piece of content but I know a lot of you guys are youtubers you have your own YouTube channel and you would probably only need the personal plan which if you use the link included in the description description bar down below. You get a one month free trial, so you can try it out. If you like it, then you can sign up for their personal plan, which is just $15 a month. It's really not that much. And you can cancel at any time. If you get to a point where you do need to cancel, that is an option for you. And one of the questions I've gotten asked before is, well, what happens if I cancel? Am I then going to get copyrighted? And the answer is no. During that time when you were a member, the pieces of content that you created, those are considered whitelisted and they will not get copyright strikes. It's just if you continue to use their music in the future, then you may run into problems. But if there are any of you out there that are freelancers or if you are creators that create content for clients, the commercial plan may actually be more beneficial for you because you can get clearance based off of the content that you are creating for clients. So when they upload it, they are not getting copyright strikes. So thank you so much to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna try it out for yourself, definitely click the link in the description bar down below and get started with a one month free trial. You can cancel at any time, so you might as well give it a shot. Try it out. Thank me later. With your piece of sponsored content created, it's time for it to go in the review process. And guys, the timeline of sponsorships may be longer than you think. And you may have actually heard of other YouTubers sharing that like they had to miss an upload because a sponsored video was supposed to go live, but it didn't get approval or something else. You need to plan out your content ahead of time with sponsorships to make sure that you have enough time to go through that review process. And if there are edits or corrections that you need to make and then get it reviewed again, you need to make sure that you have that time there. So typically I film my YouTube videos one week in advance advance of them going live. But with sponsored videos, I typically have to film them two weeks ahead of time or even more, depending on the agreed upon timeline with the brand. And this is something that you need to figure out ahead of time because you do not want to be at a point where you're scrambling to get the final edits done and have them reviewed so that the video can go live on your uploading schedule. That's just not something you want to deal with. So have a timeline figured out ahead of time, create your content way in advance. And what you're going to do is get it reviewed by the brand. And depending on 
on what platform or what kind of content it is, the review process is going to be different. But specifically for YouTube videos, what I do is I will take the edited video and upload it to YouTube like I normally do when I want to schedule a YouTube video to go live. So I will add the appropriate title, the final draft of what the title is going to be. I will add in the description the things that I need to add. So within the top fold, is there anything that I need to include for that sponsorship, such as a link or specific wording that the brand wants there? I also need to include the FTC disclaimer because guys, you need to disclose that your videos are sponsored within what you are saying, but also in your description. And you also need to check the box that says that your video includes a paid promotion. So with all of that done, I will then make the video unlisted. I will send it over to my management team. My management team will send it over to the brand. The brand will come back with if it is approved and it's good to go, or if there are some corrections that need to be made, if there are corrections that need to be made. I then go back to Final Cut Pro, make the corrections, upload it to YouTube, do the exact same thing, make it unlisted, send it back to the brand. And if you go through that process a couple of times, guys, that is why you need to create your content ahead of time. And you need to know that schedule so that you don't miss an upload because of a sponsored video not being approved in time. So at that point, I am done. I will schedule the YouTube video for the day that it is meant to go live. And that's really it. If you guys watch the video with my management team, you would know that they actually send out all of my invoices, collect payment, and then I get paid through them. The payment process doesn't happen until after the piece of content goes live. And something you guys should know is that within your contract, it is going to say how payment works. And if it is net 30, net 60, net 90, whatever it is, you should know that because it could be a month, two months, three months before you actually get paid for your sponsorship. So if you think, oh, I'm going to create a sponsored video and I'm going to get paid that day or that week. It's in your contract, so you need to pay attention to that. But that is it in terms of the timeline and just how sponsorships work in general. Obviously, there's so much more that goes into sponsorships with pitching brands and the negotiating and even looking into contracts, guys. Like, there is a lot that goes into it, but just in terms of the timeline and just, like, kind of bird's eye view, I guess you could say, of how sponsorships work. That's it. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Let me know what other topics you guys want me to talk about in terms of the business side of YouTube, getting paid on YouTube, whatever it is. Let me know and I'll create those for you guys. But otherwise, I'm out of here. Bye guys.